Yeah, that's right. You know I had to flex on you, bro. Listen, I'm going to be blunt with you. You're fat for a reason. The biggest reason why you're still fat and not even seeing any progress, you eating too damn much. And you're not even exercising at all. I'm calling you out, bro. That's the reason why you're not seeing any progress, bro. You keep smacking your face with all the snacks. God damn. But yet you ain't going to sit here and go down and bust a couple push-ups, though. Just to equalize that out. See, calories in, calories out, bro. I already tried to tell you. That's the secret to success, bro. And when it comes down to calories in, calories out, we're not really fully paying attention to the amount of calories that we are consuming a day. I try to tell you, look at those nutrition facts. Stop ignoring it. But once you really pay attention to it, you will be surprised what you're intaking. Now imagine you keep track of how much calories you consume a day on average. Now you have the subconscious to, hey, I need to hold back. I want to lose weight. I want the confidence. I want to be able to take this weight off and keep it off. But see, your habits is what's keeping you habits. fat as hate. It's what's I understand it's hard, man. Hate. The refrigerator is right there. And you know damn well you got all the good sweets, all the good snacks. You know what I'm saying? You cook some good-ass fried chicken up in there, boy. You know you want some of that. And listen, you got to sit there and control yourself. Self-control is a real big thing. See, and when it comes down to finally paying attention to what you're putting in your body, it's a numbers game, bro. Once you start to pay attention to the calories in, calories out, and then the foods you're actually eating is more beneficial for you, that's when you're going to start to see true progress. Here's the foods that everybody consumes each and every day and not really realize it's holding you back. Just for the simple fact, it packs a loads of calories. Not even just the calories. The nutrients within these garbage is not even good for you. There's a reason why they call it empty calories. First things first, fast food. It's so obvious. Sometimes we're just too lazy to prep our own meals without realizing just that one day a week, to prep your food, cook in bulk, cook fresh foods instead of, you know what, let's sit here and go to Arby's, you know what I'm saying, let's get a quick food out, you know what I'm saying, let's get something quick. The fast food is just outright dangerous, for the simple fact, just one meal that you're getting because you know damn well it's fat as hell, easy over a thousand calories, sometimes two thousand calories for a meal. Don't you really fully pay attention? I mean, it flat out tells you of the calorie intake for just a serving size of each meal. You eating thousands upon thousands of calories just off of fast food alone. That's why you need to prep your meals. All right. One day a week, just go to the store. Even if it's just ground turkey, ground beef, ground chicken, fresh chicken, fresh steak, fresh vegetables, fresh fruit. Once you start to add that to your diet, you learn how to cook, you're, getting, you're, getting, you're prepping your meals throughout the day because you know exactly the macronutrients and the calories within this meal. And once you start to add that into you, yourself, it's going to benefit you in everyday life. Fast food ain't going to benefit you other than get some big old man titties, bruh. It's going to make you built like a damn circle, bruh. So fast food, dead ass. Stay away from it. Another thing, a lot of people love to count this out, caloric beverages. I'm talking about milk, coffee, juices, energy drinks. The ones that got high amount of sugar, you know what I'm saying, especially the energy drinks and the soda pop, bro. I'm telling you, like it'll literally say like over 50 grams of sugar just off of one small ass can of pop. Energy drink, oh God. You talking about hella grams of sugar. We're not talking about the caloric amount. Listen, bro, just for eight fluid ounces of just juice, milk, you name it, over a hundred calories. And eight fluid ounces is not a lot. That's literally a gulp. And you're already done. You just consumed over a hundred calories just right off of there. See, you see how crazy this is? You have to even pay attention to what you're drinking. That's why water. It's so beneficial for you. But if you're going to consume drinks that got a high amount of calories, if 
find the drinks that's more beneficial for you. Stuff that's not packed with sugar, but instead loads of vitamins and macronutrients. Anything with high vitamin C, just any vitamins, minerals, thing that's going to be beneficial for you. Smoothies, protein shakes. If you're going to drink some juice, find some that's not concentrate with high amounts of sugar. If you're going to drink energy drinks, try to aim for zero sugar. Really pay attention, bro. Zero sugar. If you're going to drink soda, bro, but yeah, you already know what I'm about to say, the diet shit. I'd rather go for that instead of that garbage-ass high sugar stuff. But to be honest with you, if you really want to truly maximize your weight loss potential, just stick with smoothies. And make smoothies and protein shakes more of a meal replacement instead of a full flesh. I'm just going to just down it because it's the healthy thing. You eating too much healthy foods is still not good for you. You're not going to lose no weight because you're eating too many calories. But beverages going to get you, bro. Especially the motherfuckers that keep going to Starbucks each and every morning. I'm telling you, bro, that coffee is so crazy amount of carbs and sugars, bro. Listen, you got to pay attention, bro. Start drinking your water, though. Caloric beverages, that's another thing that's keeping you fat. Another thing is the processed snacks. These are the all-time, these pretty much Satan in disguise, all right? You're talking chips, crackers, pretzels, you already know the candies, the Debbie cakes, the cookies. Those are self-sabotaging meals, real talk. Those are the ones that's really going to keep you fat, I'm trying to tell you. You'll be amazed with how much calories, just the calories alone. We ain't even talking, we ain't paying attention to the macronutrients. Just the calories alone. Let's say like a cookie, bro. I'm talking about a good size cookie. Just for one, it'll run you over 400. Let's deal with the Debbie cakes, bro. A cosmic brownie, man. I can tell you flat out, I love cosmic brownies. Over 400 calories. A brownie, dog. See, the nutrition facts is key to weight loss. Once you start to pay attention to what you put in your body, you start to add up because everything adds up. When you start to add it up, now you really realize you're eating too damn fucking much. But if you're consuming all these calories, right, aka you consuming all this energy, unleash that energy. Give it that same energy coming out as you're coming in, bro. You got all this energy it needs to come out. So once you unleash that energy, bro, you burning it out, Use your food as a fuel source. That's where you're going to start seeing progress. But eating those honey buns right before a gym, you're not really going to feel as great. But you're actually making that honey bun work for you. Instead of you're going to eat the honey bun and watch a whole series on Netflix with your lazy ass. See, I'm sorry I'm being so rude and so blunt. But listen, on this channel, I'll keep it 100 with you, bro. I'm not even going to sugarcoat nothing. You want to lose weight and you wonder, I tried this, I tried that, I tried a million things. I... Listen, bro, you ain't try to pick up a dumbbell, a barbell. You ain't try to put down that fork. You're not trying to add up all the calories you're putting in. So how do you expect to lose weight? Oh, it's my genetics. My genetics, bro. I'm big bone. See, there's always some excuse, bro. You ain't been consistent with your program. Buster, buster, buster. <laughs> But nah, for real, though, you really got to pay attention to this stuff, though, for real. The chips, here's another thing about chips, especially chips and crackers. Hundreds of calories, easy. Just off of 12, it'll literally tell you per serving. Let's say you're eating Doritos or Cheetos, especially. Listen, just for a couple chips, you already aimed over 200 calories. Just off a couple chips. And you know damn well you smacking on that whole entire bag. And usually a whole entire bag, it will literally say eight servings per container, per bag. Bro, that's crazy, dog. You about to smack all those Doritos. Family size. Not the, the small bag. You want the family size, cuz. See, I'm on your ass, bro. I'm here to help you. Help you realize what you're doing and fix your habits. Put the chips down. Put the cookies down. Cookies down. Cookies down. Cookies down. And pick up a damn dumbbell, bruh. Real talk. So another real, real thing is cereal. All 
all right? Cereal is another enemy. If you eating the Fruity Pebbles, if you eating the Captain Crunch, the Apple Jacks, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Fruit Loops, all that, listen, you're setting yourself up for failure. Pack with calories. It's packed with sugar. You know what I'm saying? Listen, there's so many other alternatives out there. Prepping the fresh foods. Fresh meat, vegetables, fruits, rice, eggs, nuts, seeds, oatmeal. You know, things that really just bring more benefits than negatives. The negative, just negativity, bruh. We need negativity free up in here. Cereal is only going to add up, for real. Like That's another one. Alongside with chips, cereal is just another devil in disguise, man. I'm trying to tell you, if you eat foods that's beneficial for you, you keep your calories at a certain level, you work out like an absolute boss, know the reason why you're working out. What is your ultimate goal out of working out? You got to give yourself a reason why you should be working out. That's the thing, bro. You're not being consistent. You don't even know what you want out of working out. You don't even know why you're on a diet. But you, your whole entire goal is you want to lose weight. But listen, you got to sit here and restrict yourself. You literally have to change your whole entire lifestyle. That's the hardest thing to be consistent with. It's a lifestyle change. You got to be consistent with this shit in order to see progress. But another thing, and it's the last thing that's keeping you fat, bro. You drown all your foods with sauces. That's literally adding more calories on top of the calories you're about to consume, bro. Now you're already at 3,000 plus just off the sauce, bro. You know, damn well, you're not going to just, oh, I'm about to measure my teaspoon on that bitch. Nah, you're about to sit there and drown your shit on the ranch, the barbecue sauce, the ketchups, the mustard, the mayonnaise. Is fucking Is mayonnaise an instrument, an bro? Instrument? Listen, bro. You really have to pay attention what exactly you putting on your foods and all that stuff but listen if you want to keep it bare minimum you just too lazy to do all that here bare minimum just pay attention to servings how much calories per serving how many calories you're consuming if you still want to eat all the bad shit be my guest but listen here if you already ate 2,000 calories worth of chips cookies and mcdonald's you keep that shit at 2,000 damn calories. Use those 2,000 calories and bust your ass in the gym two to three to five times a week. And you better give it 100% effort each and every time you work out. Energy in, energy motherfucking out. Control yourself. It's a numbers game. But most importantly, be motherfucking consistent and believe in yourself. Each and every day is a new journey to improve yourself. And the only coach you got is yourself. The only motherfucker that's going to hold you accountable is yourself. You dare put that fucking cookie up and eat it, you know damn well you're setting yourself back instead of forward. But listen, this is the, all the things that's keeping you fat. Your habits, not controlling what you're putting in your body, and not believing in yourself, bruh. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself.